Hey guys, doing a review today on a very high value flashlight that I got the opportunity to review. This is the A Tactical A1 flashlight. And actually, uh, through Night referred A Tactical to me. The two of them are collaborating together. And uh, this is what they came out with, and they wanted me to put it through the paces. And being this is something that uh, through Night is helping these guys out with, you'll probably see quite a few of these showing up in your feed shortly because. It looks like they're probably sending these out to a lot of the through night reviewers. So A Tactical, like I said, separate company, but they're actually getting help from through night in developing a flashlight. And you're going to say right off the bat, hmm, what flashlight does this look like? And you're going to say, yeah, it's pretty much a TC12 or a TN12. Now it's not USB rechargeable, so it's really more like the... Uh, TN12, let me get on frame here guys, so you can see even from the flats, you know, everything, these are pretty much almost identical bodies, so in all reality, these are probably made, or at least the aluminum frames, are probably made in the same factory, I wouldn't doubt it at all, and a uh, little difference in what you get for your money, this flashlight is $20. And this is literally one of the best deals you're going to get on the market for 20 bucks. Now, I've reviewed a lot of different budget flashlights. And one example of that would be like these uh, Convoy flashlights, which you can get. And these Convoys are really just great values. You're going to spend about like 15 bucks on them. And they're a really good, fantastic deal. Bright, a lot of good... Uh, a lot of good, really high quality, just a lot of great stuff out of these convoys. But you get a little bit more with the A1. So we're going to get into that. So we'll do the numbers now that we've already rambled on for a while. This is a four mode flashlight with a strobe and SOS. And you can see here, here's your low at 10 lumens, medium 63, high 200, turbo 550 for 3.3 hours. I got numbers nothing like what they advertised. <laughs> um, oh, and all the other stuff too, which I should probably mention. This is everything you would expect out of like, you know, out of a, a through night. You know, it's waterproof, it's shockproof, it's the XPG2 LED. Um, you know, all that usual stuff you're going to get with a through night. It's nothing unusual. It does have low voltage protection. It has a lot of that good stuff as well. So, major difference, of course, you're not getting some monster 1000 lumen flashlight. You know, it is a, a lower, kind of tamed down version. And, uh, but the operation is the same. It's a two button, two switch operation. And, uh, yeah, I mean, literally, this is like somebody took, you know, the TN12 or the TC12 and literally just kind of replaced it with the XPG2 LED and a driver that just doesn't, uh, ramp up as high as that TN12 and you're saving a lot of money. It's actually less than half the price of the Thrunet. So I put this thing to the test because you can't just take my word for it or any reviewer's word for it. So what I did here is I did my uh, ceiling bounce test to see brightness. I got a couple of lights in here I'm testing as well. You can see the numbers that came out with the TN12 and the TC12 which are 1200 and 1100 lumens but the lower modes are 512 and 643 then you have your A1, which is, I came up with 10, 83, 284, and 714. I actually came out with literally 200 lumens more than what they advertised. So a little bit of surprise there. Now, part of the reason why I think they advertise it as a 500 lumen light is because this light does step down after about three minutes. At three minutes, what you're going to have is a very slow step down to about... 450, 400 lumens, and I kind of actually measured that over the course of five minutes, and you can see that the, and this is just plain old lux measurements, that it drops down kind of slowly, and I went out to about seven minutes when it stabilized again at about, you can see about 60% of that original, which I measured again, and it was uh, 412 lumens after seven minutes. Alright, so I put this thing up runtime against the A1 or I'm sorry, the TC and the TN12 in the second highest mode. So basically what you have is 
the 500 lumen mode of the TN12, the 643 lumen mode of the TC12 versus the turbo 700 lumen mode on this. And here are the results for that. And as you can see, my um, numbers and times are kind of skewed here. You can see I made some mistakes, but you get the idea that this thing ran and uh, actually lasted longer than the TC and TN12. And you can see at pretty much every point, it was throwing out more lux. So this thing really uh, outperformed the TC and the TN12 at lower lumen levels. So that's actually pretty impressive as far as I'm concerned. This is a light that can do that three minute 700 turbo, step down to like 450, 400, and then continue on and beat out the, uh, the through nights mode. That's pretty impressive as far as I'm concerned. So we'll get into construction. Same tail cap that you're going to see with the uh, through night, you know, pretty much identical. Lanyard holes in the back, knurling on the body, two switch design, one in the rear, one on the side. Pretty much almost identical pocket clip. Smooth reflector, whereas the, uh, well, they do too. The TN12 and TC12 has smooth reflectors also. Like I said before, the XPG2 LED. I think it's uh, anti-reflective glass just by looking at it real quick. So this thing turns on and it does have a memory mode as well, guys. So I'm going to mention that. So it will turn on to any mode um, except for the special modes. Uh, so once you turn it on, simple switching between the modes with the side switch. You have your four modes. Then your SOS. A long click brings you to strobe. Another click brings you back out. As you can see you cycle through those. And tail click to turn it off. Also has momentary on. So you don't need to click it on. You can just use that momentary, which is awesome. Unfortunately, the momentary does not work with strobe, which is unfortunate. It would be awesome if it did, because then you could just, you know, see when you momentary after strobe, it goes to the default modes. All right, so what does this come with? Comes in a box. Insert your favorite mom joke here with a uh, O-ring and a USB cable. You're like, wait a minute, this thing is a USB chargeable. <laughs> what they've included is a USB chargeable battery. And these things are kind of all the rage now. Has a little tiny USB port here. You can charge it, and you can see these are 2600 milliamp hours. I did not even use this for the test, guys, because this is um, pretty woefully outdated at this point. Most of the uh, modern batteries now are 34 and 3500. So the test that you saw, the numbers you saw, was actually done with an NCR 18650B, which is a 3400 milliamp hour battery. So. I did do that, you know, I just, I did test the battery, I threw it on my Opus charger, I got like 2450 for milliamp hours, I put it on one of my new specialty chargers at 3 amp, and I still got like 2400 uh, milliamp hours, so this battery is not bad quality, it's just kind of outdated. So, build quality, you can see you have really good threads on this, came lube from the factory, good retention on the pocket clip. Good anti-roll flats on there. Everything is done very well. See my fingerprints. I'm pretty sure it's anti-reflective coating on the glass. Tear that down a little further. You can see there's the spring. Again, through it always uses very nice springs. And that is the driver circuit, which looks like it's glued in. I may try and tear it apart at some point but not going to right now because I still got work and filming to do with this. So eventually I'm going to tear that out and see if that is replaceable and uh, maybe upgrade it to something a little different. Tail cap, very standard construction. You have your little washer in here, steel spring. Uh, if you want to add some lumens to this, you could definitely bypass that. Check out my video on how to bypass a uh, tail cap. That's something you could definitely do and would probably up the... Uh, lumen output of this light even further and increase the efficiency of it. So that is something that's a, a possibility with this. 
good quality clicky you know overall guys everything about this is what you're gonna get I mean essentially this is a through night with different guts you know the XPG 2 LEDs are a little bit cheaper because the new XPG 3s are out so they're a little cheaper and the driver obviously just isn't as um, set up for the high end is through night but you know in the end this thing performed just as well as a through night at those uh, lower modes it just doesn't have that thousand lumen mode which I'm sure that's how they save money on this is because there is no thousand lumen mode they don't have to worry so much about heat in there so they're probably able to save a little bit on uh, what they do with the electronics potting things like that that help uh, regulate the heat in this thing so overall I mean I think you know what you have here is a, a pretty good light for 20 bucks I mean you're not going to get much better I mean this thing's pretty tough I throw it around a little bit threw it in the tub it's waterproof you know, I've pretty much done everything I can do to this shy of uh, destruction test. So here it is. Up against uh, the Thrunite S30. You can see the S30 is uh, quite a bit smaller. Once again, TC12. Whoops. <laughs> and we'll bring in the Convoy here, which are really super popular in the budget light community. And just so you can get a little size comparison on these things, all very pocketable night or knives <laughs> lights you know not for everyday carry for some people but some people are fully uh okay with carrying an 18650 on them and uh yeah i mean like i said guys this is a uh, quite a deal you know the next thing you're getting is a convoy for like 15 but you know convoys are very good they're very moddable you can do a lot with them but in the end you know the convoy doesn't have the performance this thing has. The convoy has, you know, you're getting like 60, 70 minutes out of a convoy. Whereas this thing, in that 700 lumen mode, you're getting quite a good runtime. So overall, very good, very good performance, very good quality with everything in this. You know, this is pretty much a through night without turbo mode. All right, we're gonna go through these modes twice. One on an indoor, so you can get an idea as to how. It uh, looks indoors and one outdoors. So this is low, medium, high, super high, and then it goes to SOS, then back to low, long hole will bring you to strobe, blammo. Um, see, we are on low here. You can see there is uh, no uh, pulse width modulation that I'm seeing. Uh, a little bit on this one, a little bit. You can see how it kind of has that split up look to it. Yeah, there's some. It's very not very detectable, but it is there. So there you go. Those are the different modes. Here we go again, guys. With going to the modes outside, you can only see the hot spot here on the camera. That's my uh, sewer vent. Low, medium, high. Turbo, really nice beam to it, and you're sure. Low, medium, high, turbo, strobe. I don't know why I skipped it that one time, but uh, make sure that trampoline's still here. <laughs> Pretty wet, soggy night. There's my apple trees, fire pit behind it. The uh, my corn, all gone. <laughs> Sandbox still here. All good.